Well, the thing is, though, for Hibber, there, it's a different skill set uh, playing Reyna. Another skill set, shall we say, that's being challenged. So this is something that I, I, I'm going to really keep an eye on him and how this Reyna works for them. At the moment, it's going to start with a flash up for his teammates to try and go for a peek, but nothing comes of that. In fact, Hibber falls in a one-for-one -one trade. The heals uh, at least taken out of the scenario, so the damage done to their omen will remain, and in fact, it will be finished off as well with Padatek falling. Animal now have B-Site control. They should get a plant. And a man advantage for the post plant. Nice, nice uh, play on the feet, you know, by Polvi. He stayed on the wall when he was on brink of falling, and he got a kill based on that. That was really cool to see that he just fought on the spot about that. Oh, that's a nice shot. Now up from above, Mixwell takes one, but that's not going to be enough. The 2v2 emerges, and they at least know where Polvi is. They've cleared out the backside as well, so this is pretty much confirmed that both these players are towards the wall. Zeke, ooh, caught up by the nade. It's going to tickle him up a little bit as he swings, and that's enough to allow Keft to take the frag. Well, Mixwell especially coming out on mid. Great flash and great kill. Out of there he goes. Give up vent control, sure. If you... If you look at it this way, the map control that you have in Vent when you don't have anybody, like, you look at the positions on B. Nobody is playing upper B, nobody is peeking in the mid. It's worthwhile giving them that control in exchange for a kill. Because this angle that he's holding now is just so strong. There's the feet, and there's the kill. Another one. You know, they're just walking into it, lands in the slaughter. Frags. Just basically three frags, and you can see how powerful Breach is. He can help while being basically on B. He can still flash Heaven or mid. So, it's, it's he's essentially, like just putting so much pressure on both possible ways where um, attackers can enter with his uh, fault line, left. with his flashes, with his aftershock. Everything is useful here. He's going to be instrumental to the defenses here. But you're not going to see it because everyone else will be taking the frags. Oh! Enemy remaining. Sometimes you're, you're feeling it. You want to go for the play, but this time it has not paid off. I think this is a... Re oh, oh, the oh, spray. Oh, oh, oh. Still okay. nice considering he's blind. It's just a crosshair placement, right? And then you just yeah. intuitively spray away, keep it at roughly head height, and you might get a kill out of it. And indeed he did. Or at least you stopped him pushing you at the very worst. So for Hibber, 1v3, spotted out. I mean, he already threw the flash so they knew where he was. And that paranoia is absolutely sublime. Unfortunately, it also blinded Cypher. So he wasn't quite able to swing out and take the kill. The Patatech, well, he was just playing for himself there. You know, he spent a paranoia to ensure he gets the... They would have sent Rays through heaven. It's uh, not too often you'll see it entered into B traditionally. But now with that kill, this is where you start to really consider it. Moving up forward, Flash goes through, Mixwell, blind, but he walks under it. Great. Really nice reaction. And oh, oh, he stayed in the smoke versus the Sheriff, though. And the punishment is there immediately. Paul V hasn't got blast packs. So if he pops that ult, he's going to be very... Uh, he's not going to be very mobile, excuse me. And that, that could come with a pretty hefty cost. Which is not bad when your opponent doesn't know when you, where you are. But now it's too late. But he goes for it. Oh. He gets and it. He still huh? gets Piff. Piff. Wow. I actually didn't see that coming. Yeah, no, I, I didn't imagine. Nice. Ooh, Panatek, he's up in heaven. He's dropped down to sight now. Close range again versus these sheriffs. Never really ideal. The spray is good. And he's got it. A mucky panic. And the three rounds on the board. Whenever I see Panatek spraying, it's like the shakiest aim. I mean, but I feel like a lot of pro players have the really bad habit of switching to a, to a weapon, you know, like a knife and just... Looking Pretty. at it, like this, Paul V just went for the inspect button, right? Swing it a few times, maybe even make a spray and, uh, you know, show your position. It's a nice dodge. Well done by Zeke. Dealing with these guys perfectly until that. He had run out of ammunition uh, by the end of it, so the reload needs to come in anyways. Rez, thankfully, they did an economy res previous round, so they can get back <laughs> right? up into a 3v3. Because the yeah, problem is now, they w oh, there could be a peak there. But the player actually backed off completely and then gets shut down as Hibber falls. Things do get quite dangerous. You, you get... Uh, okay. Well, that's not ideal. Kev is so low. They're easily able to trade that. They even go out with a classic having the info that the last player was pretty much one hit. Quite unfortunate that Sage wasn't prepared for that CT peak because I'm certain that the info was there, right? Playing that position. Um, whereas, say, for example, you're playing B, you can definitely use the Phantom. It's almost preferred at times. Because if you peek close... You're in one-shot headshot most of the time. Oh, man. How's Mixwell getting away with a second peek? He's going to go for more. You know he is, but Paul V punishes him. Thankfully, this time, then even gets a second. 
this has turned from an insanely good start to a very, very poor position. I don't like that he's pushing when he's still like 30 HP. Uh, they'd rather wait for the full health heal, but hey, it's all about timing, I guess, getting out to the site. They don't know the Patatech is snook up behind into B main. That's one free kill, but now that he's known, the paranoia has to go out. Another duel that goes his way. Can they win it? The 2v2 kept. Has done well to trade it back. TP in the backside confirming they're both here. He saw them both. That's really important information now under his belt. Allows his teammate to stop worrying about a heaven flank. He's TP'd. They saw him on the right side. But this is supposed to serve as a distraction as his teammate comes up behind. One Timing's a little bit... Okay. What? He's low HP and he just swung on them. And now here comes Pip to save the day. The, I don't know how G2 won that, really. Like, I, I understand what happened, but I still don't understand what happened. You know what I mean? I don't understand how Pathetic would... They're just playing confident. They're just playing... The, it's the very typical interview. We're playing our own game. I noticed Looker did it earlier. <laughs> but it, yeah. it, it is. Oh, yeah. 100%. This is the, the moment where G2 just is not tilted at all. They probably just laugh in the voice comms and they know how they are, you know, how better they are. They win this. They'll play versus NIP. Yeah, that so is correct. They're out for revenge, literally. The redemption story for G2 or for NIP is going to be a huge success. Well, we'll see. First, they have to go through NML and look at that. Most of the time, that's a direct quote. But, oh, you're dead. Uh, brave attempt, but one that has not paid off. Artist is behind the cage and he's caught like a bad game of hide and seek. And triple tagged up by the aftershock. This, this could be pretty interesting. They finish the point quickly. Exactly they don't have a dedicated IGL. They just call whenever you feel like you've got a good idea, which is normal in most teams, right? If you really feel like you've got a good idea, you can call and the IGL won't get mad. But generally, there's a go-to, right? And so his ideas will prevail and you'll be playing by his um, uh, idea of how to play the game. By his, I can't think of like mantra. But when you come up against a team that doesn't have that, it's very hard to predict them because they don't play by one set of rules. They play by however the hell they feel like. In the moment, Zeke, nice little tap. He's got 1v3. Uh, this was a good round from Animal. They executed into the A site while I was making the point. Uh, but, oh, come on, Zeke, what? He's got three headshot after headshot. Eight, eight bullets left. Player behind him. He has no idea. Surely not. Come on. Zeke's got it with a 4K. Got enough time to defuse. And if this doesn't show why G2 are just super confident right now. He didn't get it. Control Haber with the kill, 22 HP, repositions, he has the chance to kill another one, but unfortunately dies to a flying Zeke. <laughs> flying Zeke, and the right click's coming through. I mean, that's the problem with playing against the classic, right? <laughs> You're not safe. You're never safe. Flying, running, doesn't matter. Right clicks are classic. My favorite gun from the pistols. Yeah, oh, I thought you were just going to say your favorite gun, full stop. Hey, you want a Vandal? No, I'm good. Play classic. <laughs> I'll, dro I'll drop every round. Hey, that would be a useful teammate if you could pull it off. A 2v3, let's see if they can pull off this clutch. G2 so far have been pretty flawless, and it's what we were expecting, it's what we were anticipating. I didn't quite expect the previous round to go as it did, Zeke! Oh Stop it, man! It's a 1v1! Give them some room to breathe! Halfway stuck. Oh, he's just gonna full stick it. Pros don't fake! Zeke, no clutch this time, because Mucky's come in! Outside. It actually caught where Cypher was standing to throw out his uh, cage. And doesn't do too much for them. Right back and forth. LV, Zeke, okay, here we go. Things are looking a lot better for G2 in this round. They've got the site, they've got heals up, and they're planting the spike. But if you're looking at... When we swapped there, I really thought that was a G2 player. It would make sense to be in heaven at this point because they're G2. Here. But they're full stacked up. I have never seen G2... Look at this! Yeah, they they're... have to change the positioning a little bit. Oh, you nasty boys. They're up on top of the wall. And they're playing a head peak angle that I would be incredibly surprised if it's One checked. Blast pack play through, but it's caught. There's a firing squad here. And it's just it's like a long white coat. But I can't think of... I mean, he has a band on the hat. But in enough position, you can't really push through this smoke. They could already be inside it. Especially, oh, they're updraft. Hibber, he goes in a bit of his, a bit of an updraft of his own. He's now up over the wall, but he's dead. Right afterwards. That kind of, kind of ruins the hope that I was starting to, to have. Still, man advantage for Animal. They're looking for the retake. Rolling Thunder is put through and a nice kill by Zeke mixed well with another. And they're looking to finish this one off. It's already done. It's already to Animal. 
on the defense. Oh, I like the confidence. They're straight down mid. They're rushing no it in, respect. looking for kills, and they've already got one. This is exactly how you play versus G2. You try to beat them at their own game, bring the, the no respect play. And, well, Mixwell tried to do it as well, but he's just being punished. A shutdown at the start, and Animel looking good with Panatech having to make a huge clutch. Although he has got a sneaky little position. He should at least... Oh, the timing. The timing has done him. I thought that was a free kill. Well, the thing is... you. Hi. So they're fully committing. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look at the damage done. Ziggaterra's is so low, running away, hopping into elbow to heal himself up. And with that, I mean, G2, they still have the advantage, obviously. The health isn't going to be fully repaired either. The armor's gone. But I do look at this uh, side of Animal. They have that operator. It's holding down a solo for now. But as Hibber falls, ah, they actually double stick down. They obviously heard the TPs. They've cleared out long now. This is really good. So G2 think they're going to be running into a lighter position. But instead, there's two players here. Oh, Polvi, I don't like that. Up above he went. Now he's got his ultimate, so a little uh, updraft wouldn't be too bad. Dodges away from the nades, only takes a bit of damage. And here's where the, the round starts to spiral, because out he goes. Paul V shutting. 3-0, we have a match in our hand. Like, this actually shows that there's promise in, on this defense side for Animal. And G2 needs to actually buckle up and play well. Oh, Hibber, hello, baby. Look at this, shredding them with the Phantom up close. Mucky, very aggressive player, but you want to get those smokes down first, and that's what he does after peeking. Pops the smokes, Mucky's in with one. Showstopper going to be popped, but no reward for it. And with that, man disadvantage. They, they've invested two ultimates already. They've invested full smokes. They've at least got the spike down and two kills right after. Hello, G2. Welcome to the server. Rez comes in on the hipper and Paulvi's covering fire, but Zeke able to take him down. Showstopper returned. Everybody's investing ultimates into this round. Animal want to keep it going. They don't want G2 to build up any momentum of their own. A shock dart ready and waiting, firing over, landing in preemptively. Another on its way. Here it comes, landing in, doing damage, getting a kill as well. They don't know where Pith is. 01v1 and Pith, he gets it done. G2, they. No, right? No, no, no. Mix was well damaged. Look at that. He actually got headshotted through the truck while full sprinting with the Vandal. Hey, he lost a lot of armor as well. Okay, fair enough. Hibber, interesting. He gets shot in the back there. Artist attempting to make this happen. You can see they've got TP open. Pith is going to be crossing through into Hookah, so presumably there's the teleport. They're going to move to site. Cage goes up to ensure no reinforcements. They know Sage is stuck. They know she's inside the tube as well because that recon isn't revealing her. There's the trade. And, oh, Pith almost got killed by that one, but they're going to be spotted. Oh, he's looking the wrong way. And they've been collided. Oh, so when he... Because he was 10 HP himself. So he's not going to be, like, very mobile himself. Nowhere to run. All right. Next round happens. Mixel with the opening. Artis with the ultimate. They get double kills. Mixel's opening the site like a can of tuna. Oh, no. Will he get the third? Here's the reload. Jiggle peeks to check the angle. Oh, come on! With the pistol, the headshot and everything. That was close. Damage done. The shock darts through to try and finish off what was started. Now down to just one hit. The boom bot. Oh, Artis. You sneaky boy. He comes through. But the heal was underway. Hipper takes a few more bullets and gets Rez right back up. A 3v3. Mookie in danger. If he gets one or two kills from this position, it could end the round. And he almost gets both. But Zeke has such fast reactions. Lightning quick. Pith on the flank. Hello. There's a close range picture. That one's going to cost him, but Pith comes out, spots one, takes the kill, runs away. Just going to play nice and passive now, run down the clock, run down the time. He's going for the halfway stick. Peek comes out, player's still on it, but now he comes off. Pith has to peek, but a great... I mean, it, oh, that ultimate is interesting. Traded back with the showstopper. Hibber gets it done, but here we go. Showstopper for showstopper. It must go on, but not this time. Well, the round does as G2... They're going to struggle to get into the A site uh, on the retake here for Animal, but they have the man advantage. That's the upside. They've TP'd up behind, so they're causing a couple extra angles to be worried about. They're clear, how to take clearing out bathroom as we speak. 
Artist. Oh, this is this is so good. The way those smokes have worked out, but he gets spotted. Still good for one. Those jets here as well on low HP with an op. Shock Dark goes through the rush, but Paulie runs out of ammo and goes down. Ziggs with it all in his hands. He got one, but close. He's not expecting Zeke to be standing there with a van. Caught outside the smoke as well. Mucky, oh, he's in danger. He's being tagged. He wants to get around that corner before he's fully pursued. And it looks like he'll make it away. The pre-fire actually cost him his life. Patatek in with another. They're going to spot all these players now, which doesn't fare too well, because you can see Kev was just spotted straight through the smoke. Spam down. Here's a recon that's going to reveal the player who's already dead, so it doesn't matter. Leaving Zig all by himself. And with Such that... Such a different G2 than we have seen in the first rounds, right? Yeah. And something that we mentioned, though, and that I was... The reason I was being so reserved... Oh, Mixwell, that's a missed dash, a mistake, and an opening kill for Animal. This is exactly what they want. Pick up the pistol. At least the opening duel of it. They still have to deal with Pith on the back of the site, and they do so quite well. Nade comes through and does a bit of team damage. Almost kills Mookie, in fact. But they'll get that spike plant. We mentioned how G2, you know, they can be slow to start because they just play super puggy, and then they come right back into it. This is what we're seeing... Zeke, I don't know how none of those shots hit. RNG really not on his side. Now he's all alone. One kill, but two more to go. That was close. That was so damn close. I started to believe for a second. Ready for them. They, because you know at the start, they play the same as the first map, right? Playing super loose, they're giving away rounds. And then if Animal actually start to come back and start to really perform, you get to this point where you're like, oh, guys, we threw it, you know? I guess really frustrating to play. This is uh, it's not the best smoke. It's a little bit too high because they can still see through it and shoot back. That's exactly what they're doing. Patatech able to take down one, but that's going to be just about it. Mixwell, hey, I'm glad it's not just uh, the Alliance guys that like to take the shorty as he's just flying around there, but it's on Jet, a little bit more viable. Of course, Patatech's just got a 4K. You just see all of his victims. I mean, we're, we're watching them and you're like, oh, he's dead now, surely. Nope, uh, now he's dead. Nope, doesn't matter. He just keeps on winning the fights with a Spectre in hand, 7 HP. Mix look on the line just yet. The thing is, with that camera still online, they can tag and try to go for some plays through the smoke or get late round information on whether or not this is still a, a hookah control, right? Or how many players are in there? Really, really valuable to leave it online. The rush out on site. That's so smart. Combining it. Mixwell, great shot. Looks for more, but Artis is already dealing the damage, leaving just one player who is very quickly dealt with. That was so fast. So this is something you don't really see often uh, with G2. A very well- Gonna completely spot out Polby. Now he's in danger. He's trying to updraft. Oh, that's- As soon as you updraft there, you are dead if you get hit. Because he knows you're in the air. Yeah, he knows you gotta come down. <laughs> it's nice and easy. With that, four to three. G2, man advantage. Holding down the A site with four players, but already- Or three players, excuse me. Already rotating over, but Mixwell doesn't need any help. And he's slowly walking towards long as well. Weapon out. Little bit too late. But it's okay. His teammates are rotated in position. Nate goes out. Zeke finds himself time to get around through elbow. And he has a showstopper if it's needed. I think all in all, this should be a relatively clean one. For G2 on the retake. Well, you know, it's still possible. They all go one by one from different directions. Let's see if Benedict waits for Piff because he's far away. Zeke goes in. Dies. Still gets the 1v1. And that's it. Yeah, the, the whole thing there, as soon as you see the showstopper, a three versus two at this close of a game, you're not going to risk it. Um, so much right now. Patrick gets the entire fountain. Entire B is already taken. A Ooh, unfortunately, okay. they lose Zeke, but then a double kill. See the, oh no, Artis, he gets shut down at least in the end, but quickly picked off one on the side. The wall is at least up, but Kept just, just gets dropped straight away. Hibber in a 1v3. Spike down, spotted by the cam. Pretty much everything's going against him right now. Removes the dart, but he's still got so much to do. That nade, oh, that nade could be huge. There's a Cypher over there with low HP, but he makes it out. L look at the, the map, yeah, actually, or up the top of the he's player bar. Explosive. He's 1 HP, literally 1 HP, and he finishes the round with a 3k. That's so unfortunate for Hibber. If he finds the name of the game in this round, and then Piff just yeah. runs away with a, with a run like that. Oh man, look at see, even when you try to counter G2's aggression on the defensive side, Mixwell does that. Comes out with a double, continues to push forward, and goes into a share. That's where the kind of uh, the random aspects go. It's the wrong decision, but they'll do it because they're G2, and that's just how this works. 
Uh, Hunter's Fury taking down Artis. Things are looking actually pretty good. For Animal, these are the rounds that we always warn about when you watch G2. There's someone in the TP, they know about it. Paranoia through so they can just rush and rotate, get that spike planted on B, and then play the 2v2 out afterwards. And there's still smokes for Patatech though. That's something that can definitely make a, a pretty hefty impact. This is going to be a slow one because look at this. Animal, they've not planted for spawn, so somebody has to stay close here at Elbow. Did he use the Wickham? No. Didn't see land. Either... No, no, he didn't, because they would know he was there. If it even flew up in the air. I think he's lining it up, but yeah, there. He's gonna pop it now, once they tap the spike, so that it goes out, and they can shoot through the smoke. So it's up above, One they've destroyed it without any bursts, and Patatech took down Mookie. They presume that Kev is here, he's spraying, he's not getting him, time is almost up! Another 1v1, basically, a few seconds later. So, uh, it didn't go his way, but it was a valiant effort. And Mixwell just had, just does that. In the meantime. Of course, oh, of course, it's Mixwell. Just swinging out, taking kills, taking frags. Out of charges. What you like to see. But with a four job, versus... Dog. Four versus four, as it is. Look at Animal. They've positioned one player outside of B, who's going to start pushing into Hookah now. G2 are just now coming back to the site and starting to look around. I thought maybe he was going to go through for that peek and catch them slightly off guard, but it looks like he's just going to hold the control, make sure nobody's pushing behind them, um, because obviously they've lost... Excuse me. They don't have the ability to use, like, a cypher to lock it down, as you would normally have. So instead, you got to commit the Lurker to it. Here's the ult in play. Still looking for a victim. He's just a second too or, or too late. If that if that was or too early. If that popped a second later, he'd be gone. Oh, that's a double. Very close to it. Good damage done to another player. Damage. Yeah. Worth it for sure. This is just falling apart. Hold on. Mixwell dealt with to put this into a 2v3. 1v3. It's all up to Artis. He wants to come in towards Lambs. He's stampeding his way. Artis with a double. It's all down to just one. And the running spray. The running. Kind of nuts. But I really like how he played it. Not sure if you actually paid attention to it. But when he was checking showers from CT, he was bopping his head on the doorway so he doesn't like commit fully oh, to the jump okay so he you now he like, like kind of like does mini jumps yeah. and then the doorway just blocks him so he just jiggle peeks basically by putting himself to a cover see what you need to see but don't give them the chance to shoot at you yeah, while you're doing exactly it. makes sense cool thing cool thing it's the little details that make the big difference and like checking the left side instead of the right let's see if pith walks around this corner he could be dead but if he waits, Mookie might walk straight into Mixwell's operator that's currently holding the angle that he wants to peek. There's Pip distracting in the shot by Mixwell. Double opening as well because both those kills go their way. This now puts them right back into the advantageous spot and they've seen the spike fall. So they know it's outside of the A side, at least for now. They're ready for Hipper. They take him down, and it's a four versus two. This is looking like it might be the end of Animal after a, a, a damn good attempt in this map. The first one was a massacre, but they have looked a lot better on Bind. I want to say because of G2 having a very slow start, like 7-1 from there, G2 have turned up. But, uh, oh, God, Zeke, what a way to close it as well.